The FBI estimates there are 33,000 violent street gangs active in the U.S. today. And according to Georgia's Office of the Attorney General, member recruitment is on the rise. They're reporting about 71,000 validated gang affiliates in just that state. Joining me now to discuss this is a criminal defense attorney, Manny Aurora. Manny, thanks for being with us today. Uh, the Fulton County District Attorney called gangs the number one threat to public safety in Atlanta. Uh, she claimed they were responsible for as many as, uh, as for as much as 70% of the crime in Georgia. Is it rising or has it always been this bad? The crime's pretty much been steady. Um, I'm not sure where they're getting these numbers, about 70%, but recently the state prosecuting attorney's council has made um, calling everything a game crime basically the most important thing in our state. And so now if there's three people just loitering together, essentially they can be a gang. And there's very loose definitions of what a gang is. And so you can pigeonhole it into just about anything. And is that to make the charges more severe, to bring RICO charges and other such charges? Yes, in 30 years of trying cases in my career, anytime you mention the word gang, when you have suburbanites and folks that maybe don't live inside the city or aren't familiar with certain demographics, the prejudice goes to the roof. And also when you charge them with a gang and then RICO, you can bring in all kinds of evidence that typically wouldn't be admissible. And um, it, it gets a, a lot more salacious when you use the word gang. And when we talk about Young Thug, though, uh, you know, and people who seem to have it all, they have fame and money and a mansion. And what is it that keeps members in a gang, even when they seem to have all the opportunity in, a world, in the world? Well, you have to understand, again, depending on which police department you go to or which department of corrections you go to, the definition of what a gang is varies greatly throughout our state. The prosecutors accused him of being in a gang. His lawyer has denied that. Now, generally, just because you have a tattoo or if you have music lyrics or do something of that nature doesn't inherently make you in a gang. In this case, this YSL, that's also the name of his record label. So I'm not sure how it all portrays it together, but it sure makes it a lot more sexy and news coverage comes when you say gang and you bring up these uh, you know, these massive indictments alleging all these extraneous crimes that by themselves wouldn't really be all that serious. Well, what is Young Slime Life, the, the alleged gang that he's in? According to what the prosecutor tells us is apparently there's some sect of the blood gang, but there's no real evidence of it. And generally at these trials, the government will call some middle-aged Caucasian police officer to talk about what a gang is based on what they've heard from somebody or what training course they went to. When you actually talk to gang members, which we represented in the past, it's completely different and it's so overblown. Again, it goes back to the fact that if you wanna take some elements of the charges in this case against um, Mr. Williams, who's young thug, he rented a car that was eventually used in some type of shooting. Therefore now he's a part of the gang that committed an attempted murder or a murder. So you can take very small things and make them intertwined with a gang and you get a very salacious case and the penalties go through the roof when that happens. And frankly, when you say those words, jurors get very scared and it really helps the government prove its cases. All right, Manny Aurora, thank you. We appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.